Good morning, love. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh shit, she said. She said. <laughs> she was. She was. She was dodging that. You seen that? She was pulling away. What was that about? She was weaving. <laughs> the movement was different. She could become a risk fighter. You seen that? She was two tiling her. I'm Evan, and this is my wife Stephanie. People judge my relationship because I'm from the Philippines and my husband spent $20,000 to bring me here in the United States. Okay, the, the, the title is misleading because I feel like that's, I don't know about 20K. 20K is crazy. I don't know about that. But like, if you're, if you're overseas, right, and when you talk to another person, if you're interested in them, the, the flight alone is like two grand. And then if, if you're trying to give her a green card or like a visa or something, bro, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So after downloading all of the American dating apps, I actually matched with a girl from the Philippines uh, who had changed her location to America. I decided to download a Filipino dating app just to see what's out there. Like I see Muslims do it all the time, by the way. Yeah, Muslims do it all the time. They talk to it like, uh, let's just say that, you know, you have a virgin son, right? And, uh, you know, you're a good Muslim and you want a good Muslim girl. And you're looking in North Carolina, you're looking in all these states. Bro, chat, you know, the, the Muslim communities, this is how it works usually. People start asking around if they have a daughter or a son, blah, blah, blah. Or if like they, they saw their daughter walk by and they're like, oh, yo, I was, I'm interested in your daughter. And they talk, right? But all the dads know all the dads. And all these dads know all those dads. And all those mothers know all those mothers. And they call up and they're like, Yo, do you know who this family is? And then, you know, you start conversating with one another and be like, yo, I have a son. Uh, we're interested in your daughter. You send the, the, the son's picture, right? And then you send the daughter's picture. And if they want to talk, they could talk if they find each other attractive. If they don't find each other attractive, then it's fuck off. I'll tell you guys a story once upon a time for the people that don't know. There was a family. Scott. He fell in love with Divine after she messaged him out of the blue on Facebook. But I read her over her message. Nah, bro. Nah, you look like a wrinkly sack with like some orange hair. Nah, bro. She doesn't like you. Nah, I don't care. She's not even that attractive either. But that's just crazy. Like, I already know what, what happens here. We might as well X out the video. Nah, bro. Like, I'm not even like, what is that? Like, what is that? Like, sorry, bro. Like, I'm going to be on. Like, listen, guys, I'm not the most attractive guy, but we got to be honest here. Let's be realistic, right? Like, I don't even want to watch the video anymore. Let me just see what he has to say. And it seemed very sincere, so I'm like, ah, what the heck, I'll just go. The blue on Facebook. But I read her over her message, and it seemed very sincere, so I'm like, ah, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and respond, and I'll add her. So we were, like, long distance for almost four years. Scott decided that Divine was the one and wanted her to come and live with him in America. And I'm just like, Divine, will you marry me? <laughs> yeah. And then she was just like freaked out. You can't, you can't just not do it whenever you have something this special, so. <laughs> but not everyone believes that this relationship was real. Poor guy getting played. She's just here for a green card. So we met on Facebook, actually. I asked. Wait. Frying pan hot dogs? Do you guys do that? I boiled my hot dogs back in the day. I don't eat hot dogs like that anymore, but... You guys fry them? I do. Bro, I boil my hot dogs. Boil or grill -o. Yeah, me too. Boil or grill. Boil or grill, chat. No? No, I just sit on them. <laughs> Yo! You sit on them, huh? You sit on them. You sit on them all. <laughs> you guys did not want to sit on them. Nah, um, yeah, I don't know about frying them, but boil, boiling. This guy said, I'm sucking it. <laughs> Looking for a different person. I was working at a call center. I kept like getting like angry American like customers. And then somebody just started calling me. 
and he was he has this he had this very calm like voice and he said I really need your help I, I'm just gonna need to refund it so I said okay I can refund it to you I said oh you made my day you know what your you are your customer customer service kind of this 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 is just gonna like make me feel better so after that I just like I was just thinking hmm, let me just check him and then I thought it was him so I added him and then sent him a message saying like hello this is me that you've spoke over the phone like a little bit above like who? <laughs> I just, it's like there's this, there's this pretty girl messaging me on 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 Messenger, and I'm just like, I don't know who she thinks she's talking to, but it worked out in my favor, so I, I was extremely happy, and we just started chatting. Dice. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Bro got drop rate. I'm not even gonna sit here and cap. Like, she does look kind of genuine, bro. Like, it doesn't look like she's money hungry. It doesn't look like he got money like that. I mean, hopefully they stay married, bro. Hopefully they stay married. Because, I mean, she does seem kind of genuine, I'll be honest, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens. That's the way you...